Bark Box unboxing. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. So it looks like opening this box, the theme is so cute. The theme is Bark to School. Ah, love that. Oh, so cute. So this first toy, I don't know if I understand it yet. I'll probably have to read the tag, but it's a fuzzy star. It says it is the participation star. It says that it has a squeaker. It says it has long and strong hair and it's good for hose and play. And on the back, I just realized it says, I tried, which I feel, I feel so hard. I feel very deep in my bones. Um, this next thing looks super cute. It is a backpack and I'm, I'm guessing this comes out. Oh, 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 it does come out. And wait, can you actually like one minute? I think what you can do, I think this is like a legit puzzle feeder type situation because what I think you can do is I, there's like Velcro right here for you to potentially Velcro something shut or maybe it's to Velcro this to that. I'm a little confused right now. Why is there Velcro right here? Maybe I should read the tag. Maybe the tag will tell me. Um, this is called the Bark Pack. And it says it has a crazy crinkle. It is a multi-part toy. It has two squeakers and a nylon strap, which I'm not sure where the nylon strap is supposed to be for. Um, but anyways, here is the backpack. There's even a little pocket in the front so I can hide a treat in the big part and in the little part. And the insertable paper, if you will, it says, do you lick me with a yes or no? For Roxy would always say yes. So let's go ahead and, you know, I didn't give any of these speakers a try. Um, Roxy has figured out I'm in here, so you might hear some whining from her soon. But here's the, that squeaker. We got this squeaker, different. And then one more squeaker, similar, similar, okay. Then we'll go ahead and move on to, oh my God, the next toy, which, uh, Sorry, I love all of these toys. This is called the Sharpe Permanent Barker, which I suspect this is gonna be a favorite because this is like just something she, it's gonna like do one of these and she's gonna have fun chasing that around and it's just like the perfect size for her to hold in her mouth. Let's see what this uh, has. It says it has a grunt squeaker in that it is packed with fluff. Let's go ahead and give this a good. I will say she doesn't particularly care about the squeaker part, but I'm intrigued by the different squeakers. It's enriching for me, if nothing else. And then let's go ahead and look at the snacks for this box. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait a minute, clearing up space. Um, the first treats we have are the Baba Jerky Bars, the lamb recipe. And the ingredients in here are lamb, peas, vegetable glycerin, mixed tocopherols is a preservative and rosemary extract. So go ahead and open this bad boy up and take a look at what we're working with. Um, it looks like it is a pepperoni texture. It's not gonna be too chewy, I don't think. It's a good size square, but it looks like it'll be really easy to break apart into many small pieces, depending on what you want to do with it. Um, this next one, I think we've gotten before, but we'll go ahead and show them. They are the Magic Jerky Bars with Sweet Potato, Blueberries, and Cranberries. We'll go ahead and read those ingredients. They have pea protein, rice, sweet potato, vegetable glycerin, brewer's dry yeast, cane molasses, blueberries, cranberries, chickpeas, flaxseed, chia, dried culture skim milk, natural smoke flavor, and apple cider vinegar. And I feel like, I feel like I've gotten these, honestly, who knows anymore? Okay, so it's also about the same size as the last one. It's a little, it's a little firmer. This is gonna be a little chewier. This is gonna take a minute for some of your dogs probably to chew up. Maybe not all of them, depending on your dog. And then last but not least, we have a chew stick. It is the pumpkin and honey recipe. Um, Roxy is not at all picky or particular about her treats. So she's going to like each and every single one of these. Now, with that being said, we'll go ahead and do the toy test. Um, I can tell you 100% she's going to go for the backpack. So I'm gonna hide the treats in there. I'm gonna hide a treat in the big pocket and in the small pocket, but I'll present the other two toys as options for us to see whether she gives a bark, if you will. <laughs> Crack myself up. Anyways, one minute. Ooh. 
We'll go get it. There's there's treats inside. Yeah, I know. I normally make you work for your treats, but I hit them. Well, you gotta work for it, sweetie. <laughs> Ma'am, they're in there. What kind of nonsense is this? Go, you gotta work for it. Come here. Come on. Come, come. Okay, so it looks like she's going for the small pocket first. She's not she's not the smartest dog when it comes to these kinds of toys. She's she's probably gonna just try and rip open the whole thing, which is what we've uh, seen before with this type of thing from BarkBox, but she got the first tree out there. Now let's see if she can figure out that there is a second tree. And I did my best to kind of secure the tree underneath the paper I'm using that nylon strap even though it, I don't I don't personally feel like it does anything it seems like she smells that is in there but this one I suspect might take her a hot minute so I don't know if I'll end up filming all of this but I don't know we'll see You know, one time growing up, our dog got a KFC bucket stuck on her head, and this is the same type of vibe it's giving me. Trust me, it's not stuck on her. This is how she's uh, done the other bark box toys that are like this. Um, instead of trying to open it, she'll either she'll either rip it open with brute force, or she sticks her head in there until she can get to the tree. She's not figured out that you can pull the thing out and then get to the tree or like pull the thing out and then like roll. So that way she, things will come out. Did you get it? Okay, well, I think she got it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, maybe, maybe we didn't. Maybe she got distracted. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please consider doing all the things that make the YouTube algorithm more likely to suggest my video to other people, such as liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Stay safe out there, friends. It's fall, y'all.